floor to this regularly scheduled meeting of the Dare of the Kelly uh, <laughs> Board of Commissioners. I'm late. Um, if you would please join me in the pledge of allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank
adequate time to get up there. Uh, if uh, seeing no one else interested, we will close public comment. Um, this time there's response to public comment. I'll, I'll let you know that we do have a, uh, a great town engineer and a great uh, staff that studies drainage throughout the town uh, in great length, and, and they will definitely be taking your comments into consideration as we look at the, the town-wide priorities for capital improvements, which um, heavily leans towards working on drainage as we have been for the last 10, 15 years uh, in in earnest. We always have, but really put a, a extra effort on it the last decade or so. So we're, we're moving through a whole lot of high priority projects. There's one coming up on Wrightsville uh, in the next year or so, but, but uh, all those priorities are looked at on a regular basis. So we appreciate you, you bringing all that great information in for us. Any other response to public comment? <coughs> Yeah, you did a good job, right? <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, our next item on the agenda here is introductions and presentations. We've uh, got a presentation about community rating system. Oh, already at the mic. Very nice. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to do a quick update on our community rating system, give you a little background. The town first, the town's first FEMA flood maps were issued and adopted in 1973. As you know, if your property is located in a special flood hazard area and you have a mortgage, you're required to have national flood insurance. To our citizens, with, to help our citizens with this financial burden, the town of Kettle Hills joined the community rating system in 1990. Community rating system is a national program developed by FEMA. CRS communities can be rewarded for doing more than simply regulating construction of new building to the minimum national standards. CRS criteria is based on the community's effort to reduce flood risk to buildings manage development, protect new buildings beyond the minimum NFIP protection level, preserve or restore natural function of the floodplain, and to help ensure agents obtain flood data and help obtain flood insurance. CRS recognizes and encourages communities and state, act, state activities that go beyond the minimum requirements. CRS rewards communities for the use of flood with the use of flood insurance premium discounts. Kettleville Hills has been, been in class six for the past 10 years. This year we had our three-year cycle visit and are very pleased to announce that because of the work the town has done to protect properties and reduce risk of flooding, we are now a class five community. This means that all of our citizens will receive a 25% discount on their flood insurance premium for national flood insurance policies, new and renewed as of October 1st, 2021. This is the tangible result of the flood mitigation activities the town of Kittleville Hills implemented to protect the lives and reduce property damage. That is super exciting awesome. news. Mm -hmm. and, it will, and, and, <laughs> and if you have a preferred rate policy, that percentage is still, you still get a 10% discount on a, a, having a preferred rate policy outside of the um, flood hazard area. So it extends to those who we encourage strongly to maintain their flood insurance. Even if they're not in that zone, that's and, right. and we've we've gone to great lengths to try to make it affordable for them. So thank you. That's awesome. Thank, thank you so you. much. Yeah, that's fantastic news. <clears throat> Some of you might have heard we're gonna squeeze in a little video here right now as part of our introductions and presentations. Um, we have a fantastic rescue program. I'll let you go ahead. <laughs> my name is David Elder. I've been with Kettle Hills Insurance Key since the beginning. We are very, very happy for the support the town gives us every year. We've got a great staff. I've never had as many applicants as we had this season. That is no small part due to the support that the town gives this division. The people on the beach appreciate these young people every day and for about the last 10 years we've been at one percent of people we pulled out of the ocean every year had to have emergency medical assistance last year it was one one single person that is something that i'm very proud of and the staff here is very proud of as well my name is benjamin battle this is my 16th season with david and build ocean rescue my seventh as the assistant ocean rescue supervisor I'm originally from Kilda Hills, North Carolina. I'm very pleased to introduce the 51 lifeguards we have on staff for the summer of 2021. This year, throughout May and leading up to Memorial Day, we logged over 3,000 hours of training. 
it was a lot of good training, a lot of really good guards who are motivated and passionate about life safety and protecting the beach goers of the town. My name is Jake Lando. I'm a supervisor here at KDH. I'm happy to be serving my fourth season here. I'm from Galax, Virginia, and I go to George Mason University. My name is Joseph Davidson. This is my fourth year working for Kettle Hills Ocean Rescue, my first year as a supervisor. I go to University of Tampa, and I major in allied health with a focus in physician assistant medicine. Hi, my name is Brandon Bubas. This is my seventh summer here. I've been a supervisor for four years, and I just graduated from UC Greensboro. I'm Reggie Kelly, I'm from Camden County, um, I go to City State University, I'm in mathematics, computer science, and this is my third year card. Hi, my name's Ariel Becker, I'm 20 years old, this is my first year working for KDH Ocean Rescue, I go to Christopher Newport University, and I'm majoring in environmental science and clinical psychology. Hi, I'm Misha, I'm from the Eastern Shore of Virginia, this is my first year guarding for KDH, and I love honey crisp apples. My name's Mike Stewart. I live in Southern Shores. Uh, this is my rookie year here, and I am a rising senior at First Flight High School. Uh, hello, I am Brody Nash. I am from Collington. This is my rookie year here, and I go to First Flight High School, and I'm on the swim team. My name is Shude. I'm from Akilva Hills, North Carolina. I've been working at Akilva Hills Ocean Rescue for two years, and I plan on going to NC State to major in computer science. Why on the set? <laughs> Hello, my name is Savannah Wallace. I'm 21 years old and it's my second year working for KDH. I currently go to Appalachian State University where I'm majoring in history education. Hi, my name is Emma Greenwood. I'm from Chesapeake, Virginia. This is my first year working for KDHOR. Um, I go to the University of Virginia and I'm studying speech pathology. Hi, I'm Cassie Williams. I'm from Staten Island, New York. This is my first year guarding at KDH. Uh, I go to Columbia University studying economics and I run track. Hi, my name is Emily Rooney. I am from Birmingham, Michigan. This is my first summer with Kill Devil Hills Ocean Rescue and I'm studying computer science at Columbia University. Hi, my name is Emery. I'm 19 years old. This is my fourth year as a Cobalt Hills Ocean Rescue Lifeguard, and I go to uh, college at COA for a marketing major. Hi, I'm Noel McGuire. I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I go to Point Park University in downtown Pittsburgh, and this is my third year working for KDH. My name is Connor Hay. Uh, I'm a supervisor here at KDHOR. I've been going, I've been working here for about six years. I go to uh, James Madison University. I'm a senior there and I'm about to graduate with my uh, bachelor's in computer information systems. My name is Aiden May. This is my fourth year with Killable's Ocean Rescue. This is my first year as a supervisor. I'm going to NC State University and I'm majoring in meteorology. Hey, how you doing? I'm Chris Moore with KDH Ocean Rescue. This is my fourth year as a lifeguard, second year as a supervisor, and I'm originally from Maryland. Uh, my name is Ludo. I'm from Charlottesville, Virginia. This is my first year working for Killable Hills Ocean Rescue. I go to school at Virginia Tech studying physics. Hi, uh, my name is Chase Lusselman. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. Uh, this is my first year at Ocean Rescue, and I'm going to Dare County Fire Academy. My name is Warner Campbell. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm going into my senior year at First Light High School, and this is my second year working here. Hi, my name is Tyler. Um, I live in Kilo Hills, North Carolina. This is my second year at Ocean Rescue, and next year I'll be going to ECU. Hi, my name is Logan Thiessen. I'm from Kodiak, Alaska. I am a rising junior at First Flight High School, and this is my first year of Ocean Rescue. My name is Ben Koppelman. I live in Nagsett, North Carolina. This is my first year here at Ocean Rescue, and I go to UNCW in Wilmington, and I study geospatial science. Hello, my name is Ty Anderson. I'm seven years old. This is my first year working at Coda Hills Ocean Rescue, and I go to First Flight High School. I'll be a senior next year. Hi, my name is Chloe Weiner. I'm 16. I'm a rookie this year and I go to First Flight High School. Hi, my name is Carly Bauer. I'm 21. This is my first year doing Ocean Rescue. I am from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I go to Appalachian State University studying environmental science. Hey, my name is Sam Dotson. I grew up in Cotoba Hills, North Carolina, and this is my fourth year working for Cotoba Hills Ocean Rescue. Hi, my name is Gabby Gilbert. I'm 21 years old. I've been working with KDHOR for two years now. Um, I'm from the Outer Banks, and I just graduated from East Carolina University with a bachelor's in anthropology. 
My name is Isabel Campbell. I've been guarding for KDH for two years. I'm from Franklin, Tennessee, and I go to ECU, and I'm majoring in food marketing and journalism. Hey, all. My name is Olin Downing. Uh, I grew up here in KDH. I'm going to COA for my associate's degree in arts, and um, this is my rookie year at KDHOR, and it's the best job I've ever had. First game work here. I started working for Dilma Hills when I was 17 years old. This is a big part of what we've been able to accomplish here. We have a huge number of local applicants, and it makes all the difference in the world on the product which we deliver, which is prevention and safety. These kids know more about this area than anybody else because they're from this area. They love the sports here, they know what they want to do as well. A huge number of the kids that come from out of town get infected by our local kids, and they're doing all the same fun stuff that our local kids do. They're surfing, they're fishing, they're out in the sound after work. It is a great group of young people, and it's all made possible by wages and great work environment, and that has a lot to do with the town. Associated site improvements. The proposed restaurant is a permitted use within the commercial zoning district O restaurant. The plan calls for demolition of the existing shopping center. Attached, you will find your commercial site plan review application, site development plans, architectural plans, lighting plan, site narrative, stormwater calculation, willingness to serve from KDH WWTP, DOT permit package. The applicant's response to town staff technical review two comments and most recent staff comments. 
The planning board reviewed this proposal on Jan July, it's not January, July 20th, and forwarded the Board of Commissioners recommending approval with several con conditions and recommendations. The recommend recommendation being recommend applicant connect site to Blue Jay Street to allow traffic to enter the property from another street other than US 158. Additionally, allows access to Martin Street, US 158 intersection, including a traffic light via a public right of way and not only through an adjacent commercial property. Um, since that time, the following condition remains. This was a uh, landscaping breakdown for compliance. Uh, since that time, this has been brought into compliance. It's not reflected on your plans, but the applicant did provide us uh, th this week showing that. So that condition is no longer there. That's been, um, it's been taken care of. Staff recommends approval of the site plan um, and with no longer that condition, so as presented. All right, super. Yeah, a thorough plan. Lots of lots of detail in there. Uh, always love love looking at those things. Yeah, and Mr. Strader and Fabricant are in the audience. If you have any questions, uh, particular on the site plan, and I can try and answer any you may have as well. All right. Well, look look pretty thorough to me. Um, it's uh, state of the art, and what's there now is decidedly not. Um, <laughs> It is nice that it's able to keep those easements and connect to the adjacent commercial properties, which will help as well. I, you know, I get the suggestion about Blue Jay would be nice and understandably not required, but um, certainly a great suggestion. Uh, you never know what would be possible down the line. Um, any uh, comments or questions for, for anybody from the board? I'll just like to say that the neighbors of this new property are very excited. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, it's a small town. Walk over and get a cup of coffee <laughs> right next so door. Anytime you want. That's right. It's be, uh, cheerfully received. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, if there aren't any other comments or questions, then we are looking for a motion. Neighbor feeling no pressure. <laughs> yeah. I know. Uh, Mayor, I'll make a motion of approval that we approve the site plan for the uh, 2,500 square foot drive through restaurant at 1208 South Croatan Highway in the commercial zone with 25 parking spaces and associated site modifications as presented. Excellent. We have a motion on the floor. Second. And a second from the singer. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, nay? Motion carries. Congratulations, guys. Looking forward to breaking ground sometime soon. All right, so the next item of new business is number two, street improvement request for Indian Drive right away in the Hendrix Edition subdivision. We have uh, the details in the packet, but on a few things up on the screen as well. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it. Mike Robinson, um, the engineer, submitted a conceptual right-of-way plan on behalf of Philip Harrington Enterprise to improve, improve this right-of-way from the intersection of Seminole to Aztec. Um, Assistant Planning Director Cameron Ray's attached memorandum highlights the request for the additional roadway and associated um, drainage improvements. The um, Street Improvement Study Committee reviewed it at July 27th meeting. And then the three conditions that are listed in the memo. Staff recommends approval of the conceptual right-of-way plan for Indian from Seminole to Aztec, subject to the conditions listed above, and the motion would be in order. Got all the details there? Any questions about it? Good with it. <coughs> for that motion. Mayor, I'll make a motion of approval for uh, street improvement request, Indian Drive right away, Hendrix edition subdivision as presented. Excellent. We have a motion on the floor. Do I hear a second? From anybody in a lime green shirt? I'm just didn't watch the field. <laughs> second. second. All right, yeah. second. <laughs> I'm going to hold me out there. I'm just giving you our job. No, it's good. No, all good, all good. But I know we're all on board. This is a, a great little project. It is. Um, and nice to have a very nice project. The turnaround for the fire equipment and all that sort of thing. So, 
Uh, we have motion and a second on the floor. Are there any further <coughs> discussion or comments? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, nay? Motion carries. Thank you very much. The next item is in new business is appointments. We have an open spot on the planning board, <coughs> and I know you guys have been reviewing this and there's been some discussion. So, uh, how are we feeling? Well, at reviewing the packet, I see we have one reappointment and then another oh, right, right. empty seat that we're going to fill. Yep. Um, I'm very supportive of uh, reappointing Rod Simon. Mm -hmm. Rod, he's brought us, you know, I feel he's doing a great job in that role of the planning board. Great. I really, mm -hmm. seems like a prepared, knowledgeable member of that board, and, and I'm very supportive of uh, giving him another term. All right. Super. To the motion, is that right? Well, kind of, we group everybody. We'll put everybody together. You yeah, and uh, I also like to um, nominate Natalie Painter for the uh, open seat on the board right now. I served with Natalie two years on the uh, Community Appearance Commission. Um, Natalie did a really fine job. She was our vice chair during that time. She really gave, added a lot to our, our meetings, a lot of uh, creative ideas, and brought a lot of positive energy to that group. You know, we were uh, sad when she left. Really, she'd expressed interest in the planning board, and uh, I think she'd be high addition. Excellent. So we so nominate to reappoint Ron and appoint Natalie Painter. To be able to see. Excellent. So we have the nominations on the floor. I'll second that. We've got a second from Ms. Ingram. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Do you oppose nay? Congratulations to the reappointment and appointment to the board. Let's see here. Next item is committee reports. I heard Sue might be here, but I don't see her. Well, I can. Are you you got some stuff to tell us? Hey, super. Now I will start off with saying Sue Kelly does such a wonderful job with our community appearance commission. Committee reports are hard. She's hard to do. But uh, tomorrow is our next to last. First flight market, if I understand, and the CAC will have a table at that event. Um, staff does a super job creating a nice little pamphlet for us to give other folks, kind of educating people to what the CAC does. But what I really am excited about on the inside, there's a cool little survey where you just get to ask folks, what would you like to prove in the town? Yeah. What concerns about appearances do you have? So it'll give us a chance to have a nice little survey a lot of people, you know, the way they kind of peruse at the market, we can probably get some pretty insightful data to look over, study, and maybe bring some things to the board down the road of some ideas that people may have. So, fun stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Are there any other committee reports? Oh, over here. Yes. I was asked by Commissioner McAvoy to give a committee report for the Street Improvement Subcommittee. So I'll do that really quick, if that's okay. Yep. Um, the SISPC met on July 27th. There are three items on the agenda. The first was a request from Philip Harrington to pave the portion of Indian Drive that the Board of Commissioners already voted on this evening. The second request, I got to take was brought to the forward by Commissioner Winley to repaint the stop bar at the intersection of Bay Drive and Walker. This item was sent to the SISPC for review because of the response from the town engineer regarding the MUTCD. After a lengthy discussion of the MUTCD and the use of stop signs, the SISPC recommended the Board of Commissioners continue to follow the MUTCD for the use of all traffic control devices in Killable Hills. Following this MUTCD, the stop bar would not be repainted at the intersection, is their recommendation. The third item was drainage concern from citizens, specifically from property owners in Virginia Dare Shores, Avalon Beach subdivision, following a series of heavy rain events between June 2nd and June 12th. The SISPC heard from many of those citizens at the meeting. We also heard from the town engineer and public services department. The SISPC directed staff to evaluate the areas and develop cost estimates to relieve some of the issues if possible. The town engineer will bring his analysis and cost estimates back to the SISPC for consideration when the next capital projects are recommended to the board. That is the end of the committee report for the SISPC. Nicely done. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
just real quick with the um, Board of Tourism. Um, you may have seen recently that um, the Board of Tourism approved um, further exploration of the event center. And, um, and then um, this past Monday, the Dare County Board of Commissioners also approved um, further exploration of that. And it really just means that they can move forward with exploring the idea more and, and getting some things set with Magsai. So it's not... Um, Far from a done deal. Oh, yeah, well, lots more to do. But, yeah, lots more to do. And I don't know if anyone has taken taken a look at the plans. It is a really cool concept um, for a plan. It's kind of open. Um, it can be you, you're going to be able to see through it, so you're going to be able to open up both sides, which is really cool. And, um, and, and and allow for some sports. They will have there will be enough room for courts and hopefully some height for some courts for you know pickleball tournaments and things like that. So it's. Um, really a multi-use space. Um, there's a long way to go, and I still have a lot of concerns. Um, sure. You know. There'll it, be many more discussions. Yeah, time. yeah. But so that's that's the reason. Thank you. That's it for committee reports, commissioners. There's commissioner. Oh, sorry, commissioner agenda. Anybody? I have one thing. Um, I had asked of the uh, police chief uh, an update on uh, traffic accidents. Uh, at Lake, hmm. you know, we've talked about that before, and we've had some issues with that before. Um, the status was that uh, DOT indicated there was need for a stoplight there, but they didn't have the money to put it there. Hmm. Uh, and the chief had shared with me that since my inquiry in 2018, where it was reported there were 13 minor collisions going back two years uh, at Lake Drive, since then, we've had 28 collisions reported. Um, two of those uh, were with injury, four possible injury, and 22 with no injury. Um, there's, there, there's still a definite problem there. Um, and perhaps we could send another letter uh, to DOT asking them to check on the funding levels to see if there could be any uh, improvement. This is sparked by... I was involved in an accident there, uh, going to Harris Teeter, and all of a sudden, just out of nowhere, this car comes flying off of hitting another car, rear-ending another car, and bounced over into me. And uh, it just, I think, I think we need to send another letter asking DOT to, you know, at least look at the funding levels to see if they've improved, if they can make, uh, you know, any adjustments there. So. Reasonable uh, yeah. suggestion. Everybody kind of consensus on that. Yep. Yeah. So, Mayor, I guess you're the guy to send the letter. Yeah, we're <laughs> that name on it. Yeah. We will we'll work something up. That's Thank you. That's all I have. I have nothing. I don't think. Um, town manager's agenda. Yes, sir. Um, just real quickly. Um, Back to the brochure that Commissioner Winley referenced, um, I'd like to point out specifically the staff member that did this is our very own Jill O'Dell, who is our videographer this evening. Jill's been working um, both with um, the planning department and administration um, in an intern position with COVID and school being closed. Um, and she's just been a godsend. She's so talented, and we've enjoyed so much having her um, help us out she did a lot of work for planning and we've had her um we've had her a little bit and um have really enjoyed working with her and as you can see from this very talented and um she's going to be leaving us today's her last day she'll be going back to unc chapel hill um but we've certainly invited her back during any breaks that she has some time that we can pick that brain um but if we could just give her a nice round of applause. And she is not related to Michael O'Dell at all. But <laughs> 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 you are playing the two issues. Just wanted to set. Thank you very you. much, Rebecca. Thanks for all you do. We really appreciate it. Safe. Travel back. Yes. Uh, town managers did. I mean, sorry, town attorneys did.
Um, yes, Ed, I would uh, board if you didn't indulge me for just a little bit. Um, I think there's a motion uh, sitting in front of you guys. Uh, I'd like for us to go into closed session just to discuss various legal issues. Um, no pending lawsuits, nothing of that nature, just various legal matters. All right. Uh, so moved, or should we make a motion? Um, we, if you would just read the just motion. Read the one yeah. mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, if you need to read Quoting the statute. All right. Uh, I'll move that the Board of Commissioners end, in, enter into closed session pursuant to NCGS 143-318.11A3 in order to preserve attorney-client privilege concerning various legal matters. Second. Yes. So, uh, motion and a second on the floor. All in favor, I'm sorry, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? And we will go into closed session, I believe, upstairs, and we will, for those in the audience, we will return at some Thank point and continue the meeting. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. 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 Well, yes. um, I neglected to give you this just for the record. Yes. Right yes. I was back to say. Today's day. Yeah. 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 Pretty much the same as it was. Although it has changed a little bit. Thanks so much for I really appreciate it. We'll make sure that the right now we'll get on all that stuff. It's between 60 and 80. All those guys. You know, when you got the post. Four by four at whatever, 18 bucks and the sign blade at 25, and then the truck, the staff time, $100. overhead, $100 bill. Michael, Michael. They catch that guy. He knew we caught the guy stealing signs. So. Yeah, didn't know if him up to the other stuff. I'm afraid this time of year, every year, they take a little bit of a I am. It's exciting. Put more of a regular college experience and what I've been used to, I guess. Thank you. I know, 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 annual contract that he serves as a town engineer um, and that's been going on Thanks. since probably 2006. Ah, okay. That makes, that makes sense. Uh, I was curious. Uh, my, he and my uncle and aunt were still alive. We're friends. And uh, I, she yeah, well, Deep Creek, 40 years or whatever, he lived up in the neck of the woods. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Well, I guess he, uh, he's up behind the go-kart track, Paradise Golf, uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Is that right? They sold their property Where? to, I think, one of his nieces yes. or, or yes. some family member. And then uh, oh. they moved oh. um, to a house up there to retire. Yeah. You mean the Duck and Dunn in KDH, yeah. Okay. I'll be talking. He's actually there. there. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. That's Obviously, I know. Yeah, the engineer, he's, gonna, <laughs> he's going out of hell. Yeah, 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 I get that. But you know what? I'm a matter of, uh, you put the protocol. It's incredible pressure on my husband. They go into the mail because I'll close it. It's done. And then he just comes back. I was like, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it can take I did too. A half an hour, two hours, you don't know, and then they'll come back. There's not a whole lot left. Oh, um, you did good, though. Yeah, I thought I was going to take off. Yeah, it's just the consent agenda, and then there's another chance for public comment. But, um, and Meredith's committee report wasn't specific, but what I heard is Pete needs to plan to be back for the SISPC in October, November. Yes. Because... He needs that much time to well. then get to the board of commissioners to authorize. I did the New Hampshire team of Grand Union design and survey. Didn't like that drive, but other than it's supposed to be to then have it ready for this. All our reviews and everything. Traffic up for a New York by twenty mile an hour. Next summer, most going for miles so over an hour. We can go up to twenty in, miles an hour. Construction cool. traffic because there's water line coming back the same way, and they travel like design. Speed of fifty five. So that's the annual progress. 
Next time when I come back, I'll tell you about it all the way back. Once you get to Chesapeake Bay, Bridge, that way we can go start on this year's simple drive, which is the west turn, and then north, and I can get a rank. George Washington Bridge and everything. Will award. I'm still waiting for some of the tones to come back in where you have to drive through. The design sort of melts because I had a rental car, so I guess it took a while to get to me. The design. And then confirm the scope. And so. I don't know what to do, man. And then it just says drive through. Yeah. And I'm sitting there. And I look at the tone, it's 87, but the park cost is five off. But then you do everything else. And I said, they got you whichever way they rip off on that one. In Chesapeake Bay Bridge. The turnpike, the Jewish turnpike was eighteen dollars. It could be October S I S C November. I like measurements. When they come on that Chesapeake Bay Bridge tunnel, they're working on that other tunnel apparently. And you raise that soon we have just two lanes both ways. We have to do I can remember we stopped twice. Up there need that little restaurant that used to be there. First time? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's gone. That's the first time I had the kids when they were cruising, you know, four or five years old, had them up there. We were just had them. Such a big ski there, and we were all looking at them and everything stayed out there. And look, we got a submarine coming up. Yeah. Yeah, and went through the bridge, and they went back down on the other side. With regard to. I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, what we emailed that, that group yeah, that was in here yeah, was really it's email. We had one person yes. that we had given us a phone number or email that actually had to do a paper letter. But everybody else is pretty good with the emails. And so, okay, how the mindset was is one day drive up. Everybody that we've got there has got on the list. We know that. We'll send out a direct email. So we can do a week so it's, you know, the best. Yes. And then let's say those usually 10 days to 14 days out to get everybody scheduled to get everybody ready for that hour to be seen. Because it's not like the 30 And every time we start paying us, but 35 says, we may only be the best for the end of the season of your life. So it's kind of bad again. It's a type thing. But that was our intent, was just to keep down. Taking well, the yeah, near the end of the year. Sure my, well, I guess he didn't. I, I, not my crew I'm going to do in October of next year. I've already got them lined up. It goes to St. John's and all those. As an old. Yeah, so then we would get me off there and we'll come pick us up. That, we went out of Baltimore when we were on the cruise. It is big when you come by the Outer Banks and then all the policies. Going back home because you're ready to go home and then you're going to back. He'll just drop me off. Yeah, he'll drop me off. I'll take the boat and roll up. That's the manager. But then you go there and you get to drive back from Baltimore all the way back. But that's why I have a four-hour drive. Yeah. Carnival is all we use. Because... I'm taking my grandkids with me. Sorry. Okay. So yeah, I'm taking a tiny engineer, a tiny engineer is a three of them. Uh, and one just feet one's feet just going to be her 16th feet birthday feet present. So she turned 16. Feet and feet then her feet brother feet and then Danielle well, lives with me. Okay. So uh, what Danny does too. Yeah, he, he he's does. got a general service yeah, contract for reviewing the site. He's paid for his subdivision. Is there still a whole session? The street ratings, the project, and then to me, you'll just get um, lease specification project you specific take. approvals. But you get there, you get the large capital. You know, I move, and what you pay for it is averaging one hundred ten dollars a night per person. So, whether it's a water base or whatever, two hundred and twenty dollars a night. Yeah. So yeah. 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 The street project, but motel costs you that much. Now you get all this food, free shows, and entertainment, and 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 of course you buy the drink charge. So. If she gets she gets her money we worth out of that. Yeah. When we first started getting the drink cars, out. but I get the um, uh, and then like the no the water tank, tank. Uh, and, and we used to get those different at first. All, all you can drink the all day long, all night. The, and they limit to you know, fourteen drinks a day. Really? Yeah, I guess because so. people were buying. That's all they were doing to sit drinking. I don't know what kind of things are you doing. I just think it's in the game. What is he doing? Oh, cruise. But she gets rum and coke most of the time. And then I'm feeding a lot more. 
bikini coladas. It got fostered. And as long as I'm down here, I'm going to do what it's down. So there you go. Uh, citizens to learn what's like. Yeah. I did the Pepsi, the Pepsi policy just was a dream. Yeah, it's okay, a, it's not on your card. My eyes are open. So the Pepsi's aren't free? You want fruit? You got paid for those, huh? So it was like water and coffee, and that's about it. Right, yeah, that's fine. Well, like it's it's just, 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 um, orange juice and all just that. Just so I can share a pee. Get all the ideas. It's free team. It got a float to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, I mean, I'm all right. I think, let's say, so we like, like it. The only bad thing is that how we use paints in October. Yeah, and I guess the thing that just does, I got caught back here one time. We get a big flash or whatever. I think it would push to move, but this really does. That's your control for your water table, I guess. I ended up staying in range for days because it gives us the worst. And then when I find that water table, we draw down. Drive up a bit through Charlotte, and then the rain is so much bigger. If you get a sock point that's down in here, keeping that water table down, that's really, and that's what Pete's talking about last meeting. That's the real home run. Mardi Gras. It's yeah, you made me a 50 year old machine there, depending on how you want to do it. But that's the depth of that sock, which is so pulling that water to that end. It didn't rain. And that's why it's going to take you to take a half dozen of them out of town. And that's the nine day cruise. It's just bringing that water table down, increasing the bank account, that void, that 30% void space for the next rain. Because the sand will take it. You don't have to pay that $20 fee. I know that you're going to have to turn it off. Whereas with this, you're not getting that grind out. The only thing is, October 22. It, uh, it's the nine day one. It doesn't it give it much. October 23, but the same now well, goes to I know that, uh, Canada. In, in Don't tell you that. I like went out of New York to Canada one time. Um, like it's it's, it's just too cold. The crew member gets sick. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they, they just come from Florida. Florida. They sent the ship up there down the cruise. They were freezing the pool where it was. Some of the pipes. So in Alabama, they said we're warm. Bermuda, I like Bermuda. We took a cruise there and we might take the elevators out of Norfolk. It goes there and just sits there for four days. So you can do all you want, stay on the ship or go. We have some of exploring. You learn a little thing like this one little museum you go into. I can see a tiny bit of the original people that came here to the plantation owners had. And they were made to eat out of. Wooden bowl, wooden wooden forks. They showed it, and then they showed the elite. Behind this, uh, yeah, computer. There's quite a bit of dishes. They're talking about how many of them died from lead poisoning. Yeah, if that were the uh, uh, stuff made with you. Think about that. Mm -hmm. I get what you're saying. Yeah, there's a beach up there called the Peaks. Anyway, uh, beach is pink. So, it's not a thing. I think it used to be. So many people go in there, and I think a lot of people, okay. a lot of people saying, "Well, walk sure away from them, where they talk you off at." <laughs> <You're walking laughs> oh, yeah. He was an engineering service before for the most of their career, and then he sold so, to a Charlotte-based company. You've been called American Engineering. We went to the and we got married. Right. Some years ago, American. Yeah, they absorbed and then like his partner uh, oh. Jerry. Retired pretty much immediately, and then he stayed on active for five years. Well, that's when we get good. We've never been there. Then we went to that. All over. We went to Margarita Bill. Still plenty busy. I was obviously ranch. And of course, American had bought that. That's nice. Another big thing is to rally. Carpool goes to think there's a fourth location. Moon Cave, which is just right now. Right, you get off on the boat, Virginia, or Chesapeake, and you shuttle boat, you go up there, 30, uh -huh. and you get early, uh, Charlotte, Scott, uh, I think, the, 18 or so, yeah. I think, and then yeah. there's eight, but you sit there, they have all the food, they bring it to you on the island, everything's free there, yeah, that's, yeah, that's it, nice. that's nice, you just sit there, and go back in the water, if you want to scare grandkids, really young ladies, or they have to be right, 
get you a box of Rice Krispies cereal. I, take that. I, it's 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 funny. That I said that, you know, that fish is in the beach. Is, 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 you do that, they all come up and people start speaking about the product. The main office is a lot of people. They were telling me that North Carolina law is they can't offer survey that we're just surveying there as part of the ownership structure. In Virginia, it's not, the, you know, Virginia's got a number of license yeah. surveyors. Um, so we're going to hurt. But North yes. Carolina, I guess they they roll the dice. So now, yeah, that's, what, that's where that's where you get your engineers in. Both are the back because you they, get up there. Know, it's not a lot of times engineers. We start buying insurance in North Carolina. Yeah. They'll, they'll, they'll be last three. You'll have a lot of surveyors. Because you get down there and they can't secure. You lose but them. That's what they said. It's kind of interesting. I had to talk to them. They'll give you the main person to have an ownership requirement on the ship. survey. That does not. Yeah, they got the rewrite where you just they didn't they didn't see the whole time. You don't go to your destination, you don't get it too bad. But if they're uh, check, now, be if you were to get sick on the cruise um, ship, too, by a matter of insurance, it costs cost you a fortune. And there's no requirement for anybody who touches the ship. It's $50 a person. And it's worth having. You can get the. Infirmary. So Virginia, it's your uh, house, you can do whatever you want. It costs you an arm and leg, unless you have the insurance. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. I, I listened to some work. That that my house. No, that's, that's what I'm saying. That one had a permit or whatever. And he would get sick. They had bags uh, hanging all up there and everywhere. It was from it was the water field. Water was going out of the pool. Yeah, he had a bag. He's like, man, I took this out of the pool. That was an email. I did all this at my house. And he's like, that's your house. They don't. You can give a permit. You don't need nothing. I mean, that was his. Yeah, it's all cowboy. But in all fairness, in all fairness, I'm building the shed. Cosmel. Cosmel. And all them. Yeah, we we like to be. And I, I called well, them one to the beach. I'm sorting the hot doors. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think we're like, but when you got to the ship on the dock, here's the setbacks. So when you had the so military um, and machine guns, oh, you walk problem. right between them to go to religion. They tell you not to go back outside the gates. Yes. And then you come around and come back. Yes. And I learned something I did that I always thought. Bermuda, Bahamas. Oh, I thought they were all sandy beaches, but they're not. Yeah, obviously, the rock, and coral, and everything else. You have to pay a taxi driver to take you, except for uh, but yeah, when they are uh, in Grand Turks. You got to go somewhere on the other side of the island to get to a sandy yeah, beach. It's more bigger. So that was that's something that's probably, I'm used to always yeah. seeing sand at the beach. People, people do yeah, that's, that's funny, a guy yeah. down to a yeah. bill that's more out in the country well, on the walk on that stuff. He we went on one cruise in North Carolina. There's a very big sand pole if it's for hours. Princess no, a farmer that says he wants to build a shed for the moment his I got on the ship. He can get some kind of crazy exemption. He can, he can build a giant and you know, lean to or whatever he wants. Bank. One it's boat a hammer, it's from the ship wings yet. And it didn't permit no never had it before. And I don't know that. I mean that was a country guy telling me that. I stayed on the floor the whole time. But that sounds more like the real thing. Every time I got off. We don't have any farming here at the Lovell, so you need to get a permit and everything else. I didn't want to go to the If you move out to, to Washington County or whatever, you might be able to do what you did in Virginia Beach. That's what we learned. It's the same as insurance. Sweet potatoes. I got back. I got back home. See, thanks a bunch for you. And we'll shoot you an email. You and everybody that we got emails for, when we know that I told them when they first looked at it, I'm going to make a note to show you a copy of that. Because they used to. Same to break them up. Yeah. The they want to pass. Thanks. All right. Yep. Have a good night. So as soon as you got on. As soon as I got on. Excuse me, gentlemen. Take, take care. Thank you, sir. Good evening. Man, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. How many days was that? That was five days. You were paying five, five days. days. Well, when we got to. I was going to make an inappropriate. Freeport. This one was about South Carolina. We got three ports. It used to be. You get a new dog. You get off and they have farm freezer. All those stores right down there. They had aspirin with codeine in it. You just buy it right off the shelf. I sent him down there and got me some of that. And oh. That, I could sleep then. That was about it. So. Hey, but it's just one of those things far like. We got to just sign it up, man. You keep looking dark. Sign it up, Mark. And plus, I think more than anything, it's not knowing what it is. Yeah, man. Yeah, see, then the more you I ever had one No, that's the first one I ever had. The other one I ever had. Seth's so got practice. Mm -hmm. uh, try to suck. Try to work out for Reed. So, yeah. to, to the you hospital, know, took that back. Do, except that first flight, and they clock. Give me all this stuff, and then they sent me. I'm doing all these x rays and stuff. 
And when I did my x rays, they come back I have on tell us stuff. They told me they need to look at. And I said, that's shit. This is actually good. I don't want to find out what they said. That's why. I mean, they're not going to tell us now, but I'll find out. There's a spot on your liver. I don't want to wait till morning because after gallbladder. Needs to be looked at. Oh, okay, so that's just still that's one of us didn't get drunk. They got me to the stone, and while I was at the I think set up an appointment to go get my gallbladder looked at, and I said, but I'm a, being a trooper, then, you know, I, I don't like to wait. So it took uh, it was September, but I did a girl at work, that's it shut me in in January. Uh, I went in there, and the doctor that did surgery, they don't want me up there. sitting there, and, uh, I'm still. You give up that. I said, sorry, I'm but when we had just broke our time, yes, there, so I'm I had to just. I'm still super happy about it. I think that. Okay. That and they whooped me I'm up. I'm not sure what. But I, I think they're the wisest people I've ever heard. Because I've always told you what you would feel like if you were sore from gallbladder. Yeah. She said. She said, well, oh. when we went to Why don't we have refreshments at these anymore? We got gangrene. Oh my gosh. And that's not on my liver. And the metastasizer. Right there with that, with that, with that operation that you were expecting a whole lot out of. Oh my gosh, man. Yeah. But, but she said, I said, I'm 10. She said, well, we got you all the morphine we put you on. I said, that must really be hurting because I'm still hurting bad. Come on. <laughs> but that was just one of those things. You, know, said, you, gotta, you gotta get the good side. The doctor said if I had to go on then, he said, if I, my granddaughter or anybody had hit me in the stomach right in that area, it could have burst and that been it. So you have to look at the good things. That yeah. The kidney stone having the time did got everything else taken care of. Wow, right. Hmm. It's well, good video. Here. Huh? It was a good video. Yeah, yeah it was. It was. Cool. You were missing some. Some kids that I know that are doing it weren't on it. Yeah, I guess they didn't do it over multiple days. Might have just been one day or two days. Yeah, they work shifts and everything. Yeah, like and that. Brianna Wilson was. She was a senior this year, and she was one of your lifeguards. Uh -huh. But that's the Doug Elder's fault, not the chief. <laughs> I thought it was a good video. Yeah, it was. I, li I like that, and they probably like it a lot better than coming to a board meeting too, don't you think? Probably so. Because it was that's... more COVID friendly. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I would think that they'd want to do that forever. Instead of having to come after yeah. work, yes, all stuffy and yeah. and tired, or the day off okay. to a board meeting at six o'clock, that's just Debbie down. Well, you're out there waiting for them to have a break so you can all march yeah. in. Yeah, I mean, I think that that's the way to do it. Yep. Yeah. I like the little girl that somebody you cut or something like that. Yeah. Why on the set? She's got to laugh. She got to laugh. <laughs> Do you still give out, do our commissioners and our planning board members get a code book? Our board, of our commissioners do, our planning board members get 153. Okay. You so actually give them a paper copy, though. Yes, they get a paper copy. Do you see one. that going to PDF and you just do away with the paper? You know. I'm trying to figure out if I'm a dinosaur or not because I still like my paper. Well, and I was going to say the same thing is I have all of our stuff electronically and Cameron tends to go to um, American Legal. I have I have to read like the paper. <laughs> I, I do American Legal because I can search stuff quicker. Uh, I just put in a certain word and I can find what, what I'm looking for. Yeah, well I've been in the I've been in the code book. Yeah, so so I like my, my so tabs and my highlighter and I've been in the code book so long, especially my sections and years 91, um, and I've written so much of it that I know where it is. And when I read before and after it, I know why I wrote it. <laughs> so I can pull intent and find out if it's just not being, if we need to fix it or like, I know the intent of this. And yeah, I go to American Legal a lot if I want to send an email and cite something. It, it, but the problem with American Legal is... But I still like having that... Book. So at this point, we haven't done a supplement in almost two and a half yeah. years, so your American Eagle Legal is extremely far behind when you get into the land use section. We've yeah. done 40... 
I think I have 40 amendments. Is, is this what some of the 40 days? amendments in the land use days? section yeah. of for the past? Well, maybe it's 30. I was going to say, I thought they, they updated it not too long ago. I say 40, but that's because a lot of them stretch across a lot of different sections, so you've got to. But most of that, and that was on the front page before you start looking. It says these are not included into your. I know, but they. You've got to look through all this, and they're not, they're by date, not that's by That's why order. my paper yeah. book. And I have, I have multiple books. I have one that I write in hmm. that I, when I need to change something. So I have one that's got scribble marks on it so that if I ever get my consultant to update my ordinance, I got stuff that needs to be fixed, and I got one that I use at meetings or make copies with, and then I got my big one, my big book that's got everything in it, the whole code. I'm all about a three-ring binder. That's all I got to say about it. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm not sure I'm going to hang with no public here and only the consent agenda left. Mm -hmm. I thought I was supposed to be quit. I'm glad that I was afraid that, that BJ's committee report would have to wait until the next meeting. And with Lyle speaking, I'm glad he yeah. gave the update. Hopefully they understand it. He called Michael and asked Michael for me to give the update. I had written it and emailed it to him on Friday. So, pretty easy to reach your yeah. writing. Mm. I shouldn't be as tired as I am on a Monday. I feel fairly worn down. Well, it's just something about knowing you got to stay late. It just makes the day longer and even more tired when you've got to put in a 17 hour time. Yeah, it's day. just a, it's such a bummer that they switched the meetings to 6. Yeah. It was great at 5.30 because yes. basically, you know, you might go to the bathroom, get a fresh glass of water or whatever, and then you, you're, it's time to go to a meeting. Uh, do you remember when we had to come at 7? Well, oh, yes. Yes. I also, was 730. 730 maybe it was. No, that's planning board was 730. Planning board was 730. Board of Commissioners was 7. Yep. And it, it, you'd be 10 o'clock and get out of here. Oh, with the... with the Chickens? I, 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 I say with the bad board. Oh, yeah. It was easy. Easy 10, 1030. Yep. Every time. Every time. What was it just a lot of people want to speak? Well, they they wanted to speak. Yeah. They spoke a lot. Yes. A lot. Yeah. Are we getting a storm this year? Oh, There's yeah. a tropical watch already in Puerto Rico, right? This yeah. Minute. It says 80% development. I, I got a bad feeling. Come on now. The pear trees, man. It's The pear trees, are they've got me wound up. What do you mean? What's the pear trees do? It's a it's an old um, Bahamas wow, wives tale. Yeah. But pear trees are ever producing this year. Yes, they are. And the and the wives' tale in the Bahamas is when the when the pear trees are they only ever produce when you're gonna have a bad storm season. Oh gosh! And see, and pear they're... trees are going off. Are they really? Yes. But they ever got one that's loaded. It's, it's just, loaded they, all. Yeah, I mean they're just completely loaded, and that's the, that's the wives' tale. I've known it. I've heard it forever. When the pear trees <laughs> overproduce. Get ready. You got a bad storm coming. See, and this, the sound is much cooler than normal, so then that makes me think, say, hey, we might, we might skip out, but it's got that smell. But yeah. it stinks. We're going to get it. We're going to get clapper. I've had a feeling since May. Well, we've a lot I hope I'm wrong. close to us already. You know, I, hope it's, I hope it's a little, I hope it's a little one. I think we're going to get one. I just hope it's not a, a Isabel. Oh, my Isabel. I I well, Isabel can. wouldn't be that bad for us because it was oceanfront. We've had nourishment. It would be better now. Yeah. I don't think we well, would I mean, lose the, 12. The problem with Isabel was I mean, how many pools do we have sitting on the beach? Eight? Mm -hmm. All the hotel pools are sitting on the beach. Yeah. Like in the middle of the beach. 
and there was no beach road from Sea Village to help. to the in the town. Yeah, it was mm -hmm. just. I swear it looked like God came and went like this, like a beach towel. Mm -hmm. And there were just pieces of asphalt mm -hmm. laying on top of each other. It was like the melting clocks in that famous painting. I was like, how did that really happen? Did the ocean pick up these slabs of asphalt this thick and bigger than that table and just laid them? Yep. And we had cars that had like this much of the window and roof yeah, showing and I did this, like a snow drift, the sand, the dune blew over to 12 and the mm -hmm. car was there and, and you were like going like this over. Oh, and there, was, there was hot water heaters and refrigerators sticking out of the, the sand. Mm -hmm. Like you just don't know where they came from. Brian Newman's whole house was on the beach. Was, so you see, I don't know if you remember years, the hides had just fallen into it. He stands there and just watch them fall into the ocean. And the sea ranch, the whole ground floor of the sea ranch fell. Yep. It undermined and the whole bottom of it fell out. Wow. Seven feet down. Mm -hmm. That's how far it Left eroded under collapsed. there. But those sea ranches on concrete pilings that are 22 feet deep. We found the engineered plans. We're like, oh, well, yeah, okay. rebuild the first floor then. How about the hotel that collapsed the floor? Do we have to worry about anything like that up here? The condo, excuse me. We don't have sinkholes. Well, they, 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 this rusted out. I was just saying, oh, yeah. it was a pool. Oh, it was a 17th floor pool, yeah. right? That had some kind of water issue. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Absolutely. The Ramada's pool is on the second floor, but it's not on the building, right? It's, it's on the first floor, isn't it? No, it's on the second floor. You're right, but it's not part of the building. The building. It's in an atrium yeah. that sits in the ground. Because the bottom of the pool is at the first floor. Um, the only one that's elevated like that is the first flight retreat, but it's also independent. There's nothing above it or below it. We got a house in Nagshead that's got a pool on top. You know the one with the lizard, the flat top that's got the lizard crawling up the I mean, sides yeah. of it? It's got a pool on the top. Yeah, well, luckily we don't have any 17 story or 35 yeah. story condo or anything. Else. But as far as structurally, I don't know that. I don't know of any of our big, bigger buildings that are built using, solely using steel. Mm -hmm. Concrete. Right, concrete. Sea Ranch and Ramada are concrete at the concrete. core. Concrete at the core and around them. So, I mean, I'm sure they they've got. Of course, they have steel, but that's not their that's not their foundation. I can't believe how rapid the ocean front can you know. Seems like five or eight years ago, the big house backlash, and they're like, "Oh, there's no market for it. Just let the market take its course. They they won't make any more." And they're just building them. Yep. We got two huge ones under preliminary review right now. I mean, just mind-blowingly huge, and they don't have to put in fire suppression. They're on seventy-five foot wide lots, so they're going to take the hit for the. It's Randy Saunders. He's like, nope, I'm going to do the extra setbacks. I don't need it. He's not going to put in this fire suppression. Mm -hmm. 30 bedroom? How many bedroom? 30. 30. I see. Yeah. That's, that's not a... That's 30 cars. It's, it's, it's ridiculous that you're going to... You're gonna, I hope someone gets wind of it and makes it public and publicly shames him. We're, we're, we're so lucky. A verbal lose, flog. We didn't lose people on that one. Oh, yes. They, they, they were alert to it and got themselves out? Yeah. Or they were still partying. The firewall went off. So, hell, but there, there were people that were having fun. 4 o'clock in the morning, 3.30. Let's get out. Get everybody out. Else, have you ever quit, will it? Lost a lot of vehicles. Did Cameron tell you that a guy comes, they were doing, 
they were there, I guess, like two days later, and they'd been talking to the Marriott guy, and uh, they were standing on the site of the big house, and the guy comes walking up, he goes, man, that's my truck, have y'all seen my license plate? And Cameron goes, do you see your truck? <laughs> License plate's gone, buddy. My insurance wants my license plate. And he goes, she goes, he goes, how about you snap a picture with your phone and show her your truck and she'll understand that the aluminum license plate is toast. But it was the one that was under, he's like, yeah, but I, I, I parked underneath the, the front area because I had the cooler with the meat. Now, if you're renting that, and you do something that they can prove that you set the, you, you know, it was an accident. You're not, are you responsible for the house? Or I don't know the answer I think that's going to be up to the lawyers or the judge and all that stuff. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of them. Did you mess up? Yeah. session and uh, make our attempts to not take any action based on that meeting. So that's what the press always wants to know. Taking action based on that. So um, the next item is the consent agenda. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, consent agenda this evening, the minutes from the July 12th um, Board of Commissioners meeting, the June 2021 monthly report, two, uh, or excuse me, one, one budget amendment purchase of the body um, camera and car video software. Um, the life of the contract and the related service packages for five years and will be paid in five annual installments. This is just reporting that um, income. Number um, item B is a budget transfer. This is to transfer existing buildings and grounds um, budget to administration to cover expenses for a consultant um, to assist the staff in development uh, ADA self-evaluations and trans, um, transition plan for ADA compliance. As we've talked about before, the budget ordinance allows the budget officer, which is the town manager, to transfer from certain divisions, such as buildings and grounds and admin. We recently did one in last fiscal year from animal control and, and police. However, it also <coughs> requires this to be reported at the next of the meeting. So that's simply a report. Um, Schedule public hearing. This is proposed zoning amendment for um, light industrial one zone special uses at Tattoo um, Studios. Um, recommend public hearing for this set for Monday, September the 13th, 2021 at 6 p.m. And staff recommends approval of consent agenda as presented. Super, I assume all this conversation went smooth with the folks making that. Uh, Amendment. Um, it was it was approved by the planning board um, and recommended for a public hearing. Yes. I'll make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Mayor, I'll second that. We have a motion and a second on the floor. 
for any further discussion. Hearing none, all in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Motion carries for a consent Thank agenda. You. Thank you. Once again, we have one more opportunity for public comment. I can't see without my glasses, but I believe there is no public <laughs> to comment. So that was a short public comment. Uh, closing public comment, no need to respond to the absence of public comment. Uh, that leaves one last word on our agenda there. One quick uh, uh, jump question. Um, should we put together a press release for the community rating system update? I think that, well, that's a great idea. I think it, it, yes, sir. Something really, we it, need it to is. sell this and explain it to people. It's a really big deal and a big win for the town, and we need to let you know, shout it for the rafters. You know? Absolutely. We just wanted to make the um, announcement to the board commissioners first. But yes, that's in the works. Thank you. I uh, expect to be sharing that voice article any day now. <laughs> Looking, forward to it. Looking forward to it. With all kinds of credit for whatever work behind the scenes. Yeah. Thank you for all the work. But it took all these years to get there, and now it's many years in the, in the making. So thanks again for that. I'll make a motion to adjourn. That's a sure novel idea. <laughs> I, do, I do like that idea, yeah, we'll see. I'll second that motion. We got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? I have a thumbs up from this end. Uh, all in favor, please, if I say aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thanks.